What's up, guys? Willie's Comics back with another video. <clears throat> Today, I'm going to go over the books I got from uh, going out and hunting. It's city across the lake. Um, takes about 40 minutes to go to, and then we hit up another city a little bit close near that and hit up some shops, some antique stores, um, some consignment shops, uh, comic book shops, which were actually the worst things of the day. And yeah, and then uh, a second in Charles, which was really good. So we'll go over that here and I'll go in order. So let me go ahead and get this ready. I don't know if you saw that. Um, so yeah, the first place I went to was a antique shop. We did we had no idea about this. My dad actually was with us and he ended up saying that there was a shop with comics and we we're like, you know what, why not? Early in the day. We figured if there was nothing good, it, he said there wasn't a lot, so we went through it and we could just get out of there. So that ended up being a huge success. I paid about fifty four dollars there. It was like five dollars a book, so I probably paid like I don't know. I think I got 10 books maybe about. Um, so up first we have Catwoman or Batman 685, Alex Ross Catwoman cover. Paid five bucks for that. It's usually a popular cover. Um, let's see. I'm trying to get rid of some stuff. So I kind of am got a lot of stuff in my bed. Um, X-Men 24 paid four bucks for that. Um, Gambit, Rogue cover that's really popular. So I figured for four bucks that was pretty good. Um, Batman 657. I think this is a Damian Wayne key, maybe his origin or some. Um, I wish, I think they might have had 656, but it's too late. I forget. Um, I was kind of wanted to move on, but got that book. It was like a $10 book. I paid five bucks. Um, and then this, these were, I don't know exactly why they're all keys. But this was where it was really good for me. Um, I just looked up on Key Collector because I really didn't know much about this run. And they had a bunch of issues for it. This is Teen Titans Go number one. Uh, I paid five bucks for that. So, uh, issue one right there. Issue 36. Again, I'm not exactly sure why these are keys. But, I mean, these books aren't cheap. Their print runs super low. So, 36. Um, issue 42, this is a cool cover, it's got a bunch of all the ravens and whatnot, so there's that, paid five bucks for that one, uh, this one wasn't on Key Collector, but I saw it and I figured it'd be popular because it's Blackfire, so we got Teen Titans Go number seven, this one's a little more beat up than the rest of the spine, but the issues on, like, on there were not cheap, I mean, they were like $20 or more, $30, so I picked that one out. Number 15. Again, I'm not exactly sure why these are keys. Um, and if you know this run, I guess you'll see what's coming up. Uh, Teen, Teen Titans Go 41. I think this is um, the first appearance of Red X's daughter, possibly. Uh, you can see right here. Um, this book, well, Key Collector says it has a high of $100, but that's not exactly true. I think it's like a $20, $30 book. It raw, but definitely the book that, um, it's not perfect, but the book that I was super excited to see was, uh, Teen Titans Go 23, the first comic book appearance of Red X. So, um, again, I paid five bucks for this book. Um, I think this book goes for like, you know, maybe 80 bucks. There are sales for over a hundred dollars if it's, you know, mint, especially with graded copies. Um, Really, the only problem with it is this lower. I don't know if you can see this lower corner's got like a, a kind of been blunted or something, but besides that, I mean, it's a hard to find book, really low print run, and for five bucks all day. Uh, the second shop was a consignment shop, so I got I only got one comic. There was like three or four booths with comics. I pay, I got one comic from one booth and then one from another. Um, the first booth it was all junk, but I got a Superman 204 Jim Lee cover. Um, so I probably should be keeping this one because it's really cool. And I want Batman 6 away really bad, the second print. So I figured that would probably go well with that. So may as well keep it. And then also another book that I'm going to be keeping for sure. Um, 
This is Harley Quinn Rebirth. This is the fried pie variant, I believe. Um, I paid two fifty for it, and it's not the it's the black and white version. And I think she actually looks pretty good in this. So, and for like less than three bucks, and this the listings there was no sales. I guess it's not a very common book to come across, but the listings were you know twenty thirty dollars. So that's pretty cool. So I got that. And then, um, at the second and Charles, yes. So we went to second and Charles and very successful there. Um, I'm actually going to put in a couple of clips, um, in here. So about the books that I did find, I kind of wanted some action shots where I just, I had found the books. I just threw it back and then started flipping through it. So I'll, I'll put those up, but I'll show off all the non-keys really first. We got, I wonder really want to read this run. So I got, um, I don't have all the issues, but I got Dark Knight's Metal number two, which I think is a key. And these were all $3 a piece, $2.95. Uh, issue three, four, and then five. So I'm missing issues one and six for this, the, the metal run. And then I got a bunch of these one shots of the different Batman. So Batman, the drowned, all the first prints again for three bucks. I figured that was a really good deal. The merciless, uh, the devastator, uh, the murder machine, Dawnbreaker. All the foil, these are all foil covers. And then I got, I'm missing issues um, seven and one. I I guess this is a, cause the first few issues say it's a six issue miniseries. And then when it gets to issue five, it says it's a seven issue miniseries. So I'm assuming they just upped it an issue, but I got, I got Batman Who Laughs number two or three. Number four, that's a cool cover right there. Number five, and then number six. And these were all, I don't know if you can see the tags. They were all the same. It's all second and Charles. So I'll, uh, and then I, I, another, with the third best book or maybe the second best book of the day was uh, The Red Death. This is the second print cover. Um, First print is foil, but it was three bucks. So that's a really good deal. This book should be worth about $20 probably. I think the first print goes for like 30 or more, but yeah, really good there. And then I'm going to put in those clips of me finding those books and I'll be right back. All right, as you can see, I found a couple of really nice books. Um, I told my, you know, my uncle, my dad, and my friend went with me because, you know, they all like that kind of stuff. My dad, not so much, but my uncle does like vintage toys. And my friend also does comics a little bit. So they all, they all want to go hang out and whatnot. So these, I was going to go through DC boxes, but the first, the very end uh, on the right, as you can see in the video, or before I get to that, I did find this towards the end. This is the first appearance of, uh, what's his name? Sir Superman, the black Superman. I forget his name. Cal Calvin. I don't know. I don't know his name, but yes, I think it's his second appearance, but it's like a 20, $25 book, $30 book, nothing crazy, but it was three bucks. I don't know if you can tell. And this one's not going to be for the PC. I'm not interested in that, but Definitely with something I've been looking for. I've been wanting this book and I did find it for the PC. Um, and like I said, you saw it already, but Teen Titans number 12, 
first appearance of Batman Who Laughs. I paid three bucks for it. I don't know if you can read that or not. But yeah, I paid three bucks for that. So I'm stoked. I knew I saw a bunch of like uh, Rebirth titles. There was some Teen Titan stuff. I didn't think I'd actually find it because I don't think those boxes get replenished that much. They might. I don't know. But yeah, three bucks for first Batman Who Laughs. That's going in the PC. And then the last stop of the day was really not that good. Um, uh, the shop, if they said that they sold 400 long boxes, which is, you know, if it's, if they were all full, it'd be a hundred thousand books, um, you know, roughly, but uh, they just, their shop was a mess. It was hard to look through anything. There wasn't anything there I was really looking for. I wanted to get this Golden Age Wonder Woman book but they didn't have it and they had it six months ago. I should have got it then, but they didn't have it there now. Um, the only thing I picked up was a Batman Who Laughs, the first print um, one shot. So I'm gonna read this. I think I read it before, but I wanna read it again. I'm gonna read all this, um, you know, Batman Who Laughs stuff. And I paid five bucks for it. So honestly, and she, they look it up at the register. So I was kind of surprised I got it for five bucks. I thought it would be like 10, $15. But yeah, that's it. Um, like I said, super, super successful day. I am stoked about, I mean, these, this was a great find right there, but like these two finds were ridiculous. Um, I wasn't expecting to find, you know, these caliber of books at a consignment shop or an antique store at a, at a, you know, second and Charles for that cheap. So I was really excited about that. But anyways, thanks for watching and until next time.